That's right, it's the Euro 2016 podcast with Tom Park and Stephen Curtis. We've got all your classic features, we've got some new ones, it's a new presenter. Dave Farthing's out in Holland, but he's still going to be taking part. It's going to be one hell of a ride. Right, welcome back. We've been gone for two years. Um, last time we spoke, it was the Brazil 2014 World Cup, and it was with me, TP, and young David Farthing until he left to for Dutch shores. And uh, yeah, I've kind of he's uh, he's he's gone, but fear not, he will be back. Um, Dave will be our expert correspondent in the field. So um, you can look forward to his Dutch view on things. Dutch view of the Euros, we're going to call that, I think, Steph. Oh, sorry, I should introduce Steph, shouldn't I? Um, All right, Tom. So replacing Dave is young Stefan Curtis. Some of you might know, um, local lad from Bidford and Avon. I've known him for about 15 years. Um, he's, he's got some big shoes to fill up, I think you'll believe, listeners. But um, yeah, do you want to tell us a bit about yourself, Steph? Introduce yourself to the podcast. What kind of things are you going to be talking about? What kind of, what kind of gags you got? Hi Tom, thanks uh, thank you for the introduction. I had to go through a, a fairly lengthy um, audition process to get this role, so um, just first of all I'd like to, like to thank you for um, having faith in me and giving, giving me the opportunity. Um, that was a pleasure to have you actually. Lo- long time listener, big time, big time fan. Um, yeah. I was actually on the previous podcast, embarrassed myself, um, yeah. got a bit nervous on the phone, so I'm just hoping that I can sort of compose myself. Um, yeah. In terms of my, my footballing background, um, very much a... Uh, Average to an all right uh, five side player. Yep. Um, had a stint in goal in my in my youth. Um, Coventry City fan by trade. Ooh. Um, yep. So success has been starved yep. for, the, for the Cov lads. Um, um, you, you, I, I believe you've got some special features for us, like personal special features, like your own personal touch on the old podcast. Yeah, I've got a couple of uh, got a couple of special features. Uh, stat fan Curtis. Um, so stat fan. Stat fan Curtis. Yeah. So that's the, Big, that, big stats. Is that a pun? Is, is that a real pun? Or? Stat fan, Curtis. Yeah. Stat pun, fan, Curtis. Yeah, kind pun of. Pun on yeah. my name. It pun, yeah, stat pun fan. Pun on my name. Stat, so I've got some facts to yeah. to give the listeners. Um, right. Also, um, Delhi's Delhi. Uh, <laughs> Delhi's Delhi's uh, just, just my what that? my take on um, on some sort of culinary, culinary delights um, as, as a homage to Delhi Alley, um, whose real name is actually... Bum Bumbadeli, um, but that isn't, that isn't my stat fact. I've got another one for that. All right, good. Well, yeah. Well, if you can live up to that, then we're we're in for a, we're in for an absolute storm here. Yeah? Right. Um, so yeah, welcome to Thomas Steph's uh, European Cop- Podcast 2016. We've got a new email address, which will be absolutely buzzing about, especially you, Rick Balker, Paul Walker, Dan Amer, to name a few. Uh, the email address you can get in touch with the podcast is T and S. Europodcast at gmail.com. That's TNS Europodcast at gmail.com. Sorry, sorry, Tom, you actually gave TNS. No, T and S. A N D. A N D, yeah. T and T and S. A bit of a mouthful. A bit of a mouthful. It doesn't roll off the tongue, does it? No. But yeah, feel free to send in questions, comments. Are you happy the podcast is back? Do even people even want it? Are we just sat wasting our time day in, day out, talking absolute nonsense? Um, so yeah, right. First up, it's match focus. Match focus. Match focus. Match focus. Match focus. Match focus. Do you want to do a little jingle, Steph? Like it's big pressure. But no, that was it. No, I mean it's kind of like a baptism of fire, kind of like a little. You know, can you come up with a jingle on the spot for match focus? We need to. We need to refresh it. I think. All right. Pocus, pocus, it's match focus. Yeah, not bad. Right, ten days to go to the Euros. I'm excited. Are you excited, Steph? Yeah, really excited. What are you most excited about? Yeah, actually going to it. Yeah, uh, first time you know in my in my years on this planet to actually go to a major sporting event. Um, hopping on the hopping on the train yeah. with some pals, some yeah. of which will hopefully be listening here. So um, yeah, hello to all of them. Um, yeah, it should be should be great. Um, England squad announcement was today. Um, reactions. Where's Danny Drinkwater? Yeah. Um, for a while now, I've um, been promising people that I was going to get Danny Drinkwater on the back of my shirt. Yeah, um, I've been saying that for a while. Yeah. Had a couple of gags lined up. Me drinking a bottle of water with Danny Drinkwater on the back of my shirt. Yeah. Um, Instagram fodder. 
Um, unfortunately, I, I mean, I haven't ruled out still getting him. Uh, injuries can happen, particularly yeah. with um, you know some uh, some delicate players in there, the likes of young Jack Wilshire and Jordan Henderson, who I wish both very well. But um, uh, do we uh, like Jordan Henderson? Pretty. Um, he's a former Coventry City player, so I won't have a bad, sa- well, yeah. bad word said Don't against him. Your vote. I mean, I'm not a fan of Jordan Henderson. I think he's a useless, ineffective uh, little young man. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of him, actually. He runs uh, with straight back, which is uh, not my words. The words of Sir Alex Ferguson. Got good air, though, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't. It's just pretty standard. It's, everything's just so standard about him. That's what I don't like. He doesn't score. He doesn't... He passes, yeah. He's not really creative. I'm... Have you been been caught up in the romanticism of Danny Drinkwater? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, big time. Mm. I mean, he's won the league with Leicester. Was a pin, you know, like a like a big man in that side. You know, provided a lot of assists for J- for old Jamie Vardy. Uh, worked well with Kante in the midfield and kind of ran the show really. So I'm I'm absolutely devastated for the lad. To be honest, I'm really I'm not happy about it. I mean, even if it just went just to kind of sit around and you know take it, drink it all in, you know why not? Why not take him? And I'm I'm pissed off that Henderson's gone. He's had a shit season. He's been injured. He's not fit. Doesn't do anything. We've got enough capable midfielders already, and I don't know why he's in there, Steph. <sighs> Tell me what you really think, Tom. Yeah. What about uh, Marcus Rashford's inclusion? I, I was reading. I was reading today actually, uh, Tom, in preparation for this uh, podcast because preparation did happen yeah. uh, Marcus Rashford was actually 100-1 to 1 in February to be included in the squad Yeah, uh, he scored the goal against um, against Man City 100-1 to 1. 100 to 1 he was that, that got reduced to 10-1 to 1. that could be a good TP bet wouldn't it if, if you thought about it well yeah, yeah. it could have okay. been yeah. Um, but yeah no. He, after his goal in the uh, in the friendly you've uh, got a good start about Rashford actually haven't you have I yeah what's that is that stat fan Curtis yeah uh, is, that the, is that your actual stat What's my stat? The one about him. Sh- this guy could just edit that one. Okay. The, the one about him is shooting. <laughs> oh, done. all right, sports fans. Yes, Marcus Rashford's stat attack. This isn't part of stat fan Curtis, but um, here's a fact for you. Marcus Rashford first shot in the Europa League goal. Marcus Rashford first shot in the Premier League goal. Marcus Rashford first shot in an English shirt goal. Fuck you know. That's St- absolute dynamite. That's brilliant, man. And, that, and that's not even... That's not even Stat Van Curtis. That's not even Stat Van Curtis. So, yeah. I mean, that just... You, you wait until Stat Van Curtis. Yeah. Day Farthing International Correspondent. Just going to ring in... I uh, just going to see if Dave's up. Dave Farthing. Yeah. We have to take into the time difference these days. What is the time difference? I think it's about an hour. Sweet. This is Dave Farthing, international correspondent. Come on, Dave. Dead air at the minute. Out of, uh, out of sight, out of mind, isn't he? Not picking up. Shame. Uh, so it that, it they, is midnight over there. Yeah it's, yeah, it's ten past midnight, but you know, fair enough. <laughs> right, we've got a caller now. Our first ever caller. So uh, we've actually got a new feature now, Steph. Oh yeah. It's called. Uh, <laughs> Actually, haven't got a name for it yet. If, I mean, that's something that you could, listeners could probably help us with. We're trying to. We've got Tom Casson on the line, our friend and recent stand-up virgin. Well, he's not a virgin anymore, is he? He's, he's done it. Right. Stand-up comedy virgin. Stand-up comedy virgin. Yeah. Yes, yes, stood up before. Yeah, he stood up. Yeah. He requests to ring. Hello. Hi. Is that Tom Casson? Uh, speaking, yeah. Hi, Tom. You're through to uh, Tom and Steph's European podcast 2016. How are you feeling? Oh, great, great. Yeah, I'm honoured. I'm honoured to be through to this podcast, to be honest. Yeah. I've been working so hard over the last few years, really. To make it, well, to make it on? Since it was announced that France would be holding 
these Euros, I kind of knew that this was the day was coming, so I've been working really hard since then. Uh, first of all, Tom, what's your what's your reactions to the England squad announcement today? Any shocks? Uh, I think it's a joke. Yeah. It's a joke, is it? Yeah, it's a joke. Any reasoning why? Because Jack Walsh is in the squad for one. Yeah. That's a joke. Yeah. Um, and you're a, you're a Spurs fan, aren't you? Yeah, but yeah. I think any football fan would agree with me with the fact that it's a joke that Jack Walsh is in the squad. Yeah. Drinkwater's done a fantastic job this season. I think it's a shame that he didn't get his just desserts. Yeah, we've been talking about that as well, just recently. Don't drink water. Where is he? We're annoyed um, about it. I think Roy's just he's he's shat himself a bit, and he's just gone through his old old way of thinking that the English team are better than the Euros. Yeah, I think it's a shame. Yeah. Um. um I believe yeah. um, a bit of a competition we're running on the old podcast here is uh, the best song for Marcus Rashford at the Euros. Okay, yeah. um, and, I, and you emailed in to say that you've got a song written. Yeah, I did send that email in about yeah, yeah. about Marcus Rashford. So that, that up for grabs, we've got a Euro 2016 mug, official Euro 2016 mug from Sainsbury's, real retailer okay. price five pounds. So um, if you could just sing your song, Tom, and. Uh, no, could you just repeat? What the retail price is, please? Uh, five pounds. Five pounds, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Just gonna write that down. Okay. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, Sorry, so, what do you want me to do? Uh, your song about Marcus Rashford. Oh, my song about Marcus Rashford, yeah. yeah. Sure, right. Um, <clears throat> Marcus Rashford, Marcus Rashford, he's on his way, he's on his way to the Euros, he's on his way. How did he get there? I don't know. How did he get there? I don't care. Marcus Rashford is on his way. He's on his way. That's it. Oh, brilliant. What was that? The, what was that? The tune of? Repeat to fade. Um, okay. It's to the tune of a well-known football song. All right. Brilliant. Um, cool. Right. See you later. <laughs> he's gone. I mean, he's been telling me about that all day. <laughs> Has he? I was meant to be the the. Uh, yeah. That was meant to be the big uh, crowning moment of this podcast. That's right, from Tom that's Gasson. Absolutely shambles from Tom Gasson. Too harsh on him. Can we ban him? Uh, I don't think we should go banning people yet, mate. We've, it's only our first episode. It's only the warm-up episode, really. There is a feature on him, isn't there? Yeah, I mean he's a he's a he's a permanent feature fixture, so you can look forward to that every week. Oh, absolute bollocks. Um, right, next up, Stat Van Curtis. Was it got another jingle for that? Or was that yours? That can be the jingle. Do you alternate the jingles? Okay. His name is Stefan, we call him Statfan. His name is Statfan, we call him Stefan. He likes a stat, he is a fan. We call him Stefan, Curtis the Statfan. Statfan. Every year, ten people are killed by vending machines. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the Euros, mate. Huh? <laughs> that wasn't the brief. You said, give me a stat. No, it says here, great Euro stat. <laughs> Oh, yeah. right, I'm gonna have to edit. Well, we'll have to put the Rashford one in there. That's a shambles, that right? Well, nah, come on. Okay, let's move on to Delhi's Delhi. Can you do a bit of can you do a bit of jiggery pokery in the in the post in the post production edit? Yeah. Get get Rashford in there. We'll put Rashford in there and then and yeah. delete the yeah. delete the. Why didn't you tell me? All right. What's the next feature? Latest terror plot. What's that? <laughs> nah, Delhi's Delhi's next. All oh, right. Okay. Give me give me Delhi's Delhi. What's the latest terror plot though? I don't know. All right. What is the latest terror plot? What's the latest? Um, I, I'm getting messages, um, you know, from from family. A bit concerned about the visit. Um, si- serious moment here, Tom. Are we going to be all right? Um, well, you you seem to be pretty clued up on it. You've been reading the Daily Mail religiously, I believe. So um, I know you've got I know you've got your facts and your stats about what the what the plotting. But I I mean I don't think this is really for this podcast. To be honest, could get the chop. Um, if you want the latest terror plot <laughs> segment to get the chop, email in. Uh, latest terror plot, get the chop. Just just email that in. If we even get one, it'll go. Get it trending. Get it's, it trending. It's, it's, it's awful that bit. Right, it's the bit you've all been waiting for. Everyone's been waiting two years for this. 
didn't win any money last time. On not this. one penny? Nah, didn't, not a single one came in. What about your famous treble? Was it trebles you were putting on? Or doubles? I was doing all sorts, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, did T P bet he gets his tips. Same jingle? Me. Same jingle? Uh, it's fine, I just wanted to check. Well, I don't want to change, I don't want to... F- well, why? It's not. It's not broke, is it? Yeah, gone. Don't fix it. Yeah. yeah. T P bet. He gets his tips from the internet, and not a single one has come in yet. So I don't know why you bother putting him on. Nice, Tom. Uh, what's uh, what's your big tip for the Euro twenty sixteen? Right. Well, it's ten days to go, so I can't. Re- I'm not really going to focus on the matches. Um, but. Quick one, Sky Bet are offering a great deal at the minute where if you put a £10 bet on a team to win, every time they win a game you get a free £3 bet. So I'm going to stick a tenner on France to win just because I believe that they'll get to the final. Um, they've got a great squad, Pogba, um, Griezmann, um, Patrice Evra, Sissoko of Newcastle, he gets in there. Mm. Um but that's not my real TP bet, my real tip of the tournament. And I've been impressed with these lads um, ever since they started qualification. It's Iceland. Um, Aaron Gunnarsson. Um, Heidegger Johnson's in the squad. Did you He's know? not. He is. Not as a player. Yeah, 38 I think he is. Well, Heidegger I'll Johnson. Um, yeah, so Iceland, they won every single game um, in qualification. Actually, that might be a lie. I think that's a lie. Yeah, I think only England did that. Well, they didn't lose. Well, they, beat, they beat the likes of Belgium, yeah. Netherlands, um, all those, all those guys. So um, yeah, Iceland to uh, Iceland's reached the quarterfinals, no semi-finals is ten to one. Is that it? Yeah. So I'm gonna, no. In fact, I haven't done my research. It's around that. It's either ten or twelve to one. So I'm going to put a fiver on Iceland to reach the knockout stage of the semi-finals. And that's my big. That's my big tip. All right, nice. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, who do you think is going to win the Euro, Steph? Um, how, how can I say anyone, anyone, um, anyone but Hungary, mate? Um, we're going to. Oh, we're come g- on, mate. Don't. No, that. come on, because we get. I think in the year of Leicester, the year of the underdog, we're actually going to Iceland v Hungary. Um, I was hungry on FIFA the other day, um, and I just think they've got some good players, mate. Yeah. Um, but. Beyond that, if you, I mean, if you're going to take that serious question a little bit more seriously, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like, I'd like to see, um, I'd like to see a France England final, France England, just final. like the Toulon tournament, yeah. the under twenty ones. Yeah, um, a repeat of that would be wonderful. Gareth Southgate said today he wants, he wants to inspire the seniors. Yeah. So why not? All right, um, that'd be that'd be my 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 tip. Um, do you want me to do Delhi's Delhi? Uh, yeah, we missed out, didn't we? Yeah, we missed it out. Delhi's Delhi. Okay. Uh, um, so what is that again? That's that's when I um, come up with some <laughs> some some uh, menu ideas for anyone who might be having a little party during during the Euros. Okay. Um, there's normally a themed um, sort of themed themed meal. Um, so what you got for us? In? Uh, following down the Icelandic route today. Yeah. Um, salted cod. Oh yeah. Never made it myself, but. Um, <laughs> How's it, have you got a recipe though? Nah, I've not got a recipe, but. I would have thought. So, so Delhi's Delhi is you just naming foods from that a country that yes. you just plucked out of nowhere. Yes, that's the beauty of it. I think you get some. I mean, at least it's only a warm-up warm podcast, to be honest. Isn't it? <laughs> well, we'll get into it, won't we? Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll do a yeah. bit of research on some foods of the world. We need some emails, really, don't we? Please email in. <laughs> I think. Please. I, th- I think um, salted cod. Did you get a raw bit of cod? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you get a raw bit of cod, bit of salt, uh, rub it in it, <laughs> rub it in it, and leave it out in the sun for a bit. The sun. And then gobble it down, mate. Oh, raw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Email in if you want that gone as well. Delhi's Delhi. No, I keep that. I, I, I'll get something better next time. Yeah. Well, just yeah. It's a bit off the cuff this one. We haven't really prepared anything. We've got, no. Well, I've got a list of features, but that's about it. I tell you what, Tom. Should we tell the uh, tell the listeners about our? Um, our project on uh, FIFA 16. Oh, yeah. Um, great little project we've got going at the minute. Um, hopefully people can help us complete this. We can play them online if you've got an Xbox. Um, if you want to play the, uh, you know, the podcast, the podcast um, presenters. So what we're doing is we're playing out the entire Euros 
on FIFA. Um, you know, just to see who will win. And um, that's pretty much it, actually. Um, the good thing is, me and Steph are quite even at FIFA, so hopefully, if it works out, we'll actually get a real winner of the Euros. And we're playing that out at the minute, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're having a, having a good time. Um, yeah. Any shock results so far? Um, not massively. It's actually been fairly... Fairly, fairly tight and close. Poland, Poland beat the Northern Ireland, didn't Northern Northern Ireland four 0 wasn't it? Yeah, that was a shame. That I was Northern Ireland, but it could happen, couldn't it? Yeah, could happen. I went down to ten men fairly fairly early. Yeah. Um, problem is that some teams aren't on there. So Iceland, for example, we had to uh, had to substitute for Australia, I believe. Um, yeah, something like that. I think Albania or Australia, aren't they? Yeah, Albania. We've just gone with yeah, just teams that are kind of similar. We'll just start with the same letter. <laughs> Yeah, it's not doesn't really go much deeper than that. Right, I'm going to wrap it up there. We've done done a fair whack. Yeah. To start us off, we got any closing gags or quibbles or no, no. All right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, just to remind you, we'll be back next week. Well, well, when we'll be back. Um, we're going to try. We're going to try and do one every couple of days. I'm going right? on holiday, mate. So right. could be could be a few weeks till a new one. I'm away for no, the no, first. no, we'll do. Let's do one. Let's do one next week before you go. I'm away for the first game, mate. All right, I'll have to get someone else in, won't I? I could, I could call in. Yeah, I'll get you call in. I'll get Dave to call in. Mike, yeah. Oh, tell you what, Matt Mitchell might take over for me for a week. Who's that? So, Matt Mitchell is uh, third host. He might come in. Anyway, might not. TBC. TV, see you right, later. Right, see you later.